Hey, Tyler Parsons yet again. And today, yesterday actually, I posted a comment on Twitter about using the ground as leverage, but more importantly, uh, creating torque off of it. And this had some questions arise, obviously, um, as I meant to. So hopefully more of you can interact with that. But what we're looking for to create a lot of speed is not necessarily how much are we just going to coil up. But better yet, what you're going to see in those long, long hitters out on tour is what the feet are doing, okay? So it's going to be hard to see in this video. Um, I plan on doing one later with our force plate so you can see. But the big hitters are going to really, really turn. They're coiling, they're bracing. We're feeling a lot of stretch in through here to where that stretch shortening is building up. But we're going to be rotating around this right foot, so they're internally rotating, okay? There's different positions that we can get into that are going to build up more and more power, but you can really see a player's foot rotating in their shoe, okay? And that's where it's going to be very important they have uh, the proper shoes on um, to help grab the ground, basically. But your longest hitters have active feet, and that's the reason why. As they're turning and they're coiling, they reach a pivotal point to where, okay, I'm coiled up as much as I'm going to in my upper body, but I'm able to really rotate around that hip. So as I'm doing it, I'm filling it out in this glute knee. So there's that huge internal rotation. That foot's wanting to go, and then at that point, they're gonna to continue to twist it while they shift directions, okay? And this is where it really starts to get confusing for a lot of you because we're here and the hips are going and you can see this back foot wanting to spin but it's also going to be pushing me off the ground. So I'd be there and it'd be going, okay? And that's an exaggerated movement, but we're over to there and then since we're driving off of that one, we're over, we're shifting our weight, we start it down, extremely important to have the proper sequencing. That's what a lot of my videos are about is allowing those hips, torso, hands and club to get there. But that's a complete another topic, so we're over to here pushing off the right, we get over to the left, now we've got to apply that brake system, okay? We can only fire as hard as our brake system is going to allow, I meaning if I'm going through here, I have to have the proper things that help me slow down. If not, you either get hurt, more than likely your body's GTOs aren't going to allow it, so we stop, and this is where I really start to leverage and push hard off this left. So from there, we're over, that's where we're up, and with your big hitters, you see so much of it that this left foot is starting to twist because they're starting to push up. They're getting slightly airborne. And then they're on around. Okay? So basically, once a player builds up, they're turned, they're loaded, they've torqued on this right side, they're pushing, they're firing through. So they're over <coughs> and through. And you can really see both feet getting active and propelling the hips. Because of good sequencing, I've got my hips going. They go their max until, oh no, it can't go anymore. That starts to pull my torso, increasing speed. Because of that, as that starts to hit its max, oh no, now my hands and then the club. So you're seeing a ton of whip in through there. Whip plus ground, uh, ground force equals a ton of speed, makes you hit it further. This is confusing, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, be glad to do some more videos, but give me some feedback.